Hello everyone, my name is Pixelrifts, welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan. Today we're going to carry on with the Thorncraft stuff, we're going to dive in in just a second. I'm probably going to start off actually by making myself some proper robes because we've been rocking the three-piece outfit for a while and we need piece number four. So I have had a couple of gifts, potion gifts in fact, now with even more string apparently, which is very welcome because I will need that string to make the Thorncraft robes themselves. But yeah, I found a villager zombie and somebody gave me some splash potions of weakness by the time I got around to actually doing anything about the zombie here despawned. So I've still got my golden apple up here. I'm going to put the potions up in here for the moment and I'll organize all of this later. It's a bit haphazard right now, but that's the way storage is in modded, at least for me. I will probably get things organized again a little bit later on. But we're going to put the iron leggings away. This is Thorncraft time now. And you'll notice I have some chisel glass in my inventory. We'll get to that in a second too, because I've been doing a lot of stuff with chisel. But first of all, I need to refer to the Thormonomicon actually for how to make all of this stuff again, because I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've done any Thorncraft stuff on the server, mainly because I've been building a lot. Now, grey, light grey, any kind of wool. Okay, good. I have... Plenty of wool around here somewhere, and finding where that is will be an adventure all of its own. That's my writing table. It's not in there. Is it in there? Probably not, because that's all modded blocks and stuff. Any number of these chests down here. Yes, there we go. White wool. I made a lot of red wool for one of my building projects, and so we have a fair amount of that too. So I could always use that if I need to, but we have seven of this plus... If I pop the new wand in here, I made myself a gold band, a great wood wand, and thank you to everyone who pointed out in the comments of the last episode that it wasn't the fact that I didn't have enough of this, it was just that I didn't have enough of a specific like type. It wasn't that my wand would be over capacity. I thought the symbols around here with the numbers next to them were telling me that was how much extra this I needed, but it was just how much I need for the thing I'm trying to craft in general. So I was able to make myself a greater capacity wand and clear up that particular confusion. Now, do I have some more string around here? Because I'm pretty sure I had some in my mob drops chest. There we go. Just enough to complete the robes. Fantastic. As you can see, my existing thing and the armor stats HUD on the left hand side and in here, my existing leggings, boots and so forth have taken a bit of a beating. So we may have to make some new ones or at least repair these, find out how we can repair them in the near future. But for now, let's make the last of those and then let's make ourselves a Thaumaturge's robe. Heck yes! And then I'm going to need to refill my wand from various nodes around the place. But no worries about that. Now I'm going to pop outside in my full Thorncraft outfit and doesn't that look cool? We are rocking it today. So let's step outside and... Oh no, you! <sighs> he wants to come in, he was there, he was there, he was there, and now he's here, and he wants to come into my house. You're not getting in. No matter how many times I have to knock on the side of your jar, you're not getting inside of my house. I'm going to keep the door firmly closed. So this structure has popped up, seemingly overnight. If any of you guys were around for my DN stream earlier this week, you will have noticed. In fact, I think it was on Saturday. It was the, the usual streaming day, and we did another one on Sunday to do mini games and stuff, but... I was making a town hall because people suggested that we should have a town hall on the server for important things to go in. Maybe any kind of, you know, civic occasion <laughs> can be held here, but also so that we can share some of the cool stuff that we have found. And inside of it, I'm not sure if we're completely done with the internal structure. I just wanted to kind of get the roof on it and get things moving and then maybe we can add some more stuff in here in future but we have three pathways that you'll see the main one kind of leading down here leads straight to the back where this space invaders looking wall is and I started building this and it looked the, the bottom part like that was all I had and it looked like the jaw of some kind of alien and so I was like great I'll do a space invader on the back wall because why not the DN symbol is like a bowl of ice cream and that was a little bit too intricate to kind of fit into this space so I decided why not do something like this? And people really like it. So I've gone with that and some great wood logs, which were supplied by Daigon, who is now on the server. I'll go and visit his house later on to show you what he's been up to. But yeah, great wood logs in the floor, in the back wall here, which are actually carpenter's blocks because they're sort of half slabs vertically. And a couple of great wood things around here as well. They've been fantastic building materials and you get a ton of great wood from a great wood tree. So that made a lot of sense to use and obviously spruce and stuff around here as well. You know, you guys know me and spruce by now. But 
we've got a couple of nice windows in the place and these things are fantastic. These are carpenter's hatches with the texture of one of the chisel glass panes on and doesn't that look absolutely stunning? I love this stuff. This is the kind of stuff that when I started on the server I didn't, I didn't really understand the scope for detail that was in this stuff in the modded kind of texture pack. I just kind of went well it's basically cheating your way to detail, right? But now I'm starting to bend the details a little bit more towards what I like to do and use them in inventive ways like this that still feels creative without kind of giving all the creativity over to whoever's just done the nice texture, right? So windows like this are another example of that. I really like the way this window came out. And that's not just all one texture, obviously. That's a combination of things. These carpets, Jefferson pointed these out, these are carpet blocks from chisel that you turn into regular carpet things. You make them with wool and string, kind of like the opposite of what the Thaumaturge's robe thing I just made was. And they look absolutely fantastic. There's so many different patterns and stuff you can choose from. Stuff like this, that's a lovely carpet texture. I love that. It reminds me of the wallpaper in my house in Freehaven that I had to make painstakingly with wool and cobblestone on like a map surface. That's just in the game for you. Little storage area down here. Still storing a couple of the materials that I used to build this place. So up here and to the left we have a kind of area where we're going to have a few different display areas for f displaying exciting things from all of the different mods. The one we have, the main thing, and this is kind of what people said we should build the town hall for to begin with, is this. This is an uncrafting table which is from the Twilight Forest mod and you can use this to uncraft objects just like it says on the tin. You use up levels, you put a an object in here and if it can be uncrafted back into what it originally was it appears in here and you can just take it out and there's usually like an amount of levels that you can use and it doesn't do it with bone meal which is strange because bone meal is obviously crafted from bones but I can show you with a piece of wool and this is actually a modded recipe where you make white wool out of nine of these things which I forget what they are but they're like cattail plants or something like that from biomes of plenty and you can basically turn them back into that and the fun thing about that is if you take one wool you get nine of these you can actually use these for brown dye so if you don't have cocoa beans easily accessible you can make brown dye super easily by just getting a piece of wool and putting it through an uncrafting table obviously it takes levels to do so it's going to be a little bit expensive here and there but this thing is really exciting and you can also do it with tools obviously so if you put an iron pickaxe in there it blanks one of them out because it says you've obviously taken some durability of this so we can't give you three iron back for you to craft a, a brand new pickaxe but you can still take two of the iron and that those two sticks back if you want to and that would be fantastic if we could get like a mob grinder to get armor and stuff we could just uncraft all the armor into gold bars or iron bars and then we would just have a fantastic supply of materials so that's a very exciting piece of kit i like that a lot i will be exploring what we can do with that a little bit more oh and by the way these are stairs with the chinese style glass pan in chisel and with carpenter's blocks carpenter stairs and those I really like as as a piece of uh, like inventory not inventory a piece of like display kind of building I just really like them they're really cool moving on downstairs we have the library and this is where we've got just a bunch of bookshelves just somewhere that looks like it's nice and comfortable where people could sit and read but also a full enchanting setup which is the second one on the, on the well, it's, it's probably more, not the second one on the server. It's the second one I've seen on the server, but somebody else probably has a full enchanting setup. I think Rick probably has one in his Arcology. But we have an enchantment table here that everybody can come and use, so they don't always have to go to my house if they don't want to. There's options now on the server. Everyone is getting some stuff figured out. And I'm going to remove the crafting table from over here and this zombie guy as well. But we'll probably find a place to put a crafting station in here because, you never know, people always need that. Some guys have been to the Twilight Forest and have already decided to take on a naga and brought back a bit of the maze so that has ended up in there as cladding as Ki as kingy would have it for one of my carpenter's blocks or maybe it's just been put in there in place of one of the tree trunks i don't know but anyway this is the town hall this is something i built over the stream and in a lot of my spare time this week which is why you haven't been seeing all that many videos from my single player <laughs> server recently is because I've been working on stuff for this server and I'm really happy with some of the detail we've been able to crank out of this thing I think it's super cool right so let's take a quick tour of the area because a few things have changed not just this place we're also thinking about putting a post office somewhere in the grounds so that people can just stop by and pick up stuff that 
we want to exchange because everyone is currently going to each other's bases and leaving stuff in chests which is nice because it's good to travel around a little bit but it would be really nice they said just to have somewhere you could walk past and look through the window and see if like if there's a light on next to your mailbox then you've got mail that kind of thing so we're going to work on that there is actually a mailbox block in forestry which you make by putting together a sturdy casing which i think i made in my last dn series but i can't remember exactly how to make it you make those and a chest with some tin ingots around the outside and you get this mailbox and i don't know exactly how they work yet I haven't actually had a chance to test one of those out so I might drop into creative and see what they do because if they could be used in some sort of post office it'd be nice to do things like the modded way you know it'd be kind of cool to do that so Rick's place is still over here it's pretty much as it was let's take a look at the map and see what we got here he has been on a massive torching mission around this area making sure that it is a little bit more mob proof because he has been hassled by the mobs pretty much constantly and he's been doing a lot of work on this server so I'm pretty sure he's keen on lighting the place up a fair bit but yeah you can see the torches stretch for miles around and if we wanted to be a little bit more subtle with it we could even do what Jeff did with his uh, carpenter's blocks and add glowstone dust to the occasional carpenter's block here and there just disguise it as a block of grass and you'd be able to get effective lighting for the area but obviously that means using up a lot of glowstone dust torches are pretty cheap so <laughs> that's the way we're going to do things for now Jeff's house has a bit of the furniture in head over to his episode to watch him decorate that in his bibliocraft style which is pretty cool. Kingy's place, oh, I don't know what Kingy is even doing now. Like, he's gone through Thorncraft and out the other side, and I think he's doing some kind of industrial craft thing now. I think he has a quarry going on in there. But I think him and Kane have done a couple of episodes together, so look out for those on their channels as well. We Beasties base is looking absolutely boss. Like, this place is so stylish and cool. He's really gone to town with the Carpenter's Block stuff, using those to create this kind of... It's almost like an ominous looking evil tower it's like something you'd get out of lord of the rings or something all of the marble and the seared brick just looks so good together that kind of black and white style is super cool i won't go down there oh kb is on the server with me as well by the way forgot to mention that herm's humble home abode is over here still taking shape i think germ hasn't had a great deal of time to spend on the server so hopefully we'll be able to get in touch with him at some point and he'll be back on i think he has school and stuff i think kingy or maybe wee beastie or both of them in combination built this bridge and this is a really nice looking bridge again with all of the carpenters block stuff and this factory block kind of thing which i think is what kingy is using to build his crazy industrial craft place it looks really cool i like that a lot and the fact that you can have those light bulb torches as well so much the better KB's house is over here somewhere. He's got this house in the swamp. Is this his place? Somebody's got one of these places anyway. It seems like he's down there, so that's probably him. And b -Ran's still up there in the side, tinkering away with the thermal stuff. This bridge and this house are Digon's place. And he's got, uh, he says, donations welcome. Yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff in here. In fact, I need to give him back the great wood that I borrowed from him. I only did a couple more logs, but I just got done putting the finishing touches on the exterior of the town hall. So thank you very much for the great wood, Digon. Much appreciated. He's previously been a Thorncraft guy. I think he is getting into other stuff for this set. What has he got on here? What are these? gelatinous slime drop interesting i didn't know you could turn those you could dry those out into stuff because i know you can get blue slime from the blue slime islands wherever they are there's a couple of them around the place you can usually see them on the mini map i think there was one up here somewhere unless somebody's already been and chopped the whole thing down for slime dirt i don't know but there was definitely one up in the air around here somewhere there around the place i've been thinking about moving out of this area at some point and setting up a wizard tower out in a different biome but I'm not entirely sure where to go speaking of blue slimes hello that one's apparently taking damage from something what are you taking damage from hey taking damage from my sword now haha -ha. 25 levels almost gonna be able to enchant something I might have to go and steal somebody's XP berries in a bit but for now today we're gonna work on a little bit more Thorncraft stuff I'm gonna get my wand focus style together and then we're going to probably cast our first spells today which is gonna be exciting I've not actually gotten around to doing any of the proper magic stuff this time 
So why am I coming over here? This is the town hall. Like I'm just so, <laughs> I'm drawn to this place because I've been working on it for so long. Like I, I, I keep thinking, yeah, I'll go back to my cottage or whatever. And I end up going to the town hall because that's where I've been for the last week and a bit. <laughs> so let's, let's see what we can do in Thorncraft today. We can listen to the wonderful sounds of the brain. Right, so I need to make a fire charge. I got myself some quartz from the nether and we need fire shards. So we can probably put this together right here and right now as long as we can make a fire shard. And I can't remember exactly what the ingredients are for that. So let me quickly check it up. Fire shard, not fire shard, fire charge. That one. What do we need? We need blaze powder, which is apparently on fire. We need gunpowder and we need coal. Well, thankfully, I still have a blaze rod from my last trip to the nether where I got a potion set up going on. We need blaze powder. Uh, yeah, apparently that is just fire in in mod packs. Wow, that looks cool. That looks like I'm a fire mage already. So we need that. Combine it with coal and gunpowder to make a fire charge. We need four quartz and four fire shards from the Thorncraft set. So let's grab ourselves some gunpowder. Thankfully I have some coal. Let's craft that down here while we can. May as well make just the one of these and save the blaze powder. Oh, we make three fire charges for that anyway. That's good. Right, well, the blaze powder is going to have to go back in the chest and hopefully it doesn't burn everything down. <laughs> that is so strange. Really interesting texture for that. Anyway, we will move on and we'll grab... Oh, there we go. Four fire shards from here. And we'll grab the quartz from in here. One, two, three, four of those as well. Into the crafting table we go and hopefully I have enough fire this to pull this off if I need it at all, which I assume I do. Bump, there we go. Oh, and we need we need 18 of that insufficient. All right. Well, let's have let's go out and find ourselves a fire node and then we'll be right back and be able to craft this. Here we go. Here's my old reliable source of fire and having the goggles on makes it so much easier to find these things than it was before. And it's super cool. Do all of the aura nodes have they kind of have a texture that is reminiscent of the elements that you can tap out of them it seems like like the fire one seems to have a little bit of a fiery kind of glint to it and i've definitely seen some of the nodes that have chaos in them looking a little bit dark around the edges so that's really cool if that's how it works because you'd think that it would just be like a single dot of light in the air but they've all got their own individual characteristics super interesting and there it is my first one focus fire exciting stuff so presumably now if we have this in our inventory we can use fire spells now i need to read up in the thormonomicon exactly how these things work but it says here press f while holding the wand and any foci carrying will show up in a radial menu allowing you to choose from any of them with a simple click so if we hold hang on what did that say if we press f while holding the wand okay Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Oh, and it's it's primed. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Right, let's find something to set on fire. I'm pretty sure it doesn't damage the surrounding landscape. So it's not like we could set fire to this bush, for example. Yeah, it only really works for mobs. So let's find ourselves a hostile mob, which would be easy in this forest were it not for the fact that Rick has torched the place up like a pro. But I think if we go back to that obsidian obelisk behind his house, we might still find something lurking there. Oh, we've got one, folks. We've got one. Have at you. Oh, goodness. And I've made him even more angry. <laughs> but at least we know the fire spell works on these guys. He is a furious zombie now. Look at that. Oh goodness, we're going to have to back off and shoot him a couple of times with the bow. Just to make sure... Oh gosh, he's now impervious to bows. <laughs> Unless I didn't quite shoot through his hitbox properly. But oh goodness, we're going to have to draw him out into the light if we want to have any chance of fighting him. Wow. And he's down. Did I get a treasure for that? Or just a ton more zombie flesh than I normally do? Oh well... Looks like we'll need to torch this place back up again. Sorry, Rick, I did remove some of your torches for dramatic effect there, but we will get this place torched up. And I think this thing needs taking down because it's, to be honest, it's probably a bit of a menace to society around here. And I wonder if we do that if this eerie stuff goes away or if we will 
I have to do something else to clear that out, but let's give this thing a scan. Oh, we already have, okay. Well, the obsidian tile is sinister and has a little bit of stuff we can maybe draw from in there, but I'm not sure how to disable my wand focus now, so maybe we should just destroy this thing for good. Obsidian totem be gone. Boom, there we go, and we get a bit of raw essentia for that. Let's take the rest of this down. And I don't know if this will start to clear up. Hello, there's some of it going into the ground there. <laughs> right, this might clear up the eerie aura that we have around here, or it might not. Maybe we will have to do something else about that. I do remember there being plants that you could grow, which are supposed to help this essence kind of disperse. So maybe we can look into that in a future episode if we still need to clear this out. But for now, let's light the place back up again, <laughs> not wanting to undo all of Rick's good work. And yeah, we can take this essence home and see if we can do anything fun with that. So it looks like these essences that I've got from here, essence of air, order, chaos and tenebrae which is oh what even is tenebrae i can't remember for the life of me is it like darkness i think it was darkness it's in here somewhere tenebrae yeah there we go it's light in a vacuum so i guess darkness rick is back online hi rick and today we're not going to get into alchemy because alchemy is a completely separate discipline of Thorncraft. There's so much depth to this mod. It's still really, really fascinating me. But the first thing we need to do for that is get a cauldron and tap it with our wand to turn it into a crucible. And from there, we can go into alchemical stuff and metal as well. There's a, there's a thormium kind of metal which you can use to build some stuff, which is going to be pretty exciting. But for now, we're going to stick with Thormatogy and I want to do some more wand foci. And I, apparently I don't have the required aspects to purchase the Frost Focus. So, interesting. We'll need to go and top up on our research points here and there. Maybe make a couple more of those in the table. And Equal Trade and Excavation are kind of more open to us right now. So we'll grab ourselves some scribing tools. We'll put the rest of this Essentia stuff in here for now. So we can throw those in there. Grab myself some paper, which I did have in here. Yes, I do. Still good. And let's go with excavation, because that's like the Thorncraft version of mining. That's using your wands to mine stuff. There's also equal trade, which is stuff you can get. You can exchange things. You can you can exchange one block for another and items for another as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure which one I want to focus on first, but let's give this one a try if we can. There we go. A bit of a roundabout way, but we got there. Let's take a look at what we have now. We've got one focus excavation unlocked, and it's pretty much the same thing, but with an emerald. Well, luckily for me, <laughs> I have an emerald somewhere around here that I got from a treasure pouch earlier on. So we can throw an emerald in here along with another few quartz. It looks like I'm going to have to need to go back to nether for more quartz fairly soon. And four earth shards. I think I should hopefully have enough this for this. Let's give that a try. There we go. We have an excavation wand focus in our arsenal now. And if we... Oh, I left the wand on the table. <laughs> I knew I'd left that around here somewhere. Let's see what we can do. I assume I will need enough terror to use this. But it looks like I've got that so far. Let's drop into a nearby mine and test this out. I'm not going to be doing this for a huge amount of time. But we can now add our excavation focus and... Look at that! That's incredible! It's like using a pickaxe from a distance. I wonder what the range is on this thing. And oh, wow, okay, we're digging up underneath the road. I don't want to undermine the road. Better put that stuff back where we found it. But oh my gosh! This is incredible! I have never seen any of this stuff... I've never used any of this stuff before. I mean, I've seen B-Round muck about with fire a little bit in his Thorncraft series, but I can't remember any of us ever seeing this excavation focus used before. To be fair, I haven't looked up a great deal of Thorncraft videos, but even so, wow, dudes, this is this is super cool. I'm going to have to find somewhere to go mining, and I'm going to use this. I wonder how deep it can go. Like, is it like a pickaxe where you have tears? Because 
I wonder if I use this on some ores, if I can actually extract them, or if it's if, if it's a universal thing, or if I need to upgrade my wand focus or something before I can do it. Let's head down here. I found a zombie spawner down here, by the way, so I'm going to go over there now and show you guys that. I need to get myself a dolly so we can move it and so we can make a mob grinder somewhere useful. Also, I don't want to really make it on the edge of this area because this is spawn and we've decided not to put anything in spawn that could potentially lag out the server for everybody. I know it's probably not going to be a problem if it's used correctly and it's, you know, lit up and stuff when it's not in use, but you never know what could happen. I'm going to test this out on a couple of things. First of all, ore blocks. Copper ore. Fantastic. We've got one. Okay, let's head on down into the caves. Was it this way? It was the other way, I think, wasn't it? Definitely hearing some zombies around here, but I don't think they've come from the spawner. Next thing we can try out, ore berry bushes. Mines them too, okay, not to worry. I think you can harvest them by hand, so that's not really much of a test, but we'll see what else is out there. And it says, effective tool pickaxe, and it says we can't currently harvest it, but you are wrong! <laughs> we laser it with the wand! That is so, so cool. It's kind of difficult to control compared to a pickaxe, though, in that, like, it doesn't quite know when to stop. If you're mining like really really precisely you might not want to use this just because yeah it like broke that stone block without me wanting to and it clearly tears through stuff like dirt pretty fast which is nice that's useful i might take this out to somewhere there's a bunch of sand and use it to harvest sand because that would be kind of cool but yeah down here is where i found a zombie spawner and this thing we might be able to pick up with a dolly and move it around but i wonder if we can go further into this cave find some more ore blocks and see what we can dig up. That is so cool. And the potential for this, it has the potential to just replace all of your mining tools. Like, this this excavation focus presumably is fine chopping down trees, you know, getting other materials. Like, it's, good, it's as good as a shovel when it comes to digging dirt and presumably sand too. I wonder if it can get stuff like silk touch. Like, I wonder if you can refine the focus to give yourself fortune. These are the kind of questions I'm asking at this point, but this thing is absolutely fantastic. I am loving it. Let's chop our way through this gravel in no time. <laughs> See what's on the other side of this bit of the cave. Oh, that's awesome. So cool. All right, my inventory is filling up with all of this stone and stuff. Let me throw some stuff in my knapsack. Thank you again, Jeff, for this fantastic addition to our arsenal here. I wonder if there's anything else down here that we haven't scanned yet. We should have the thermometer at the ready just in case. Oh, more essence berries. I'll take them. Can always use more of these on the server. I've got mine up in the attic right now, but we've definitely been powering through levels, especially considering... Careful. I suppose we don't really need to be careful because creepers don't do any damage to the terrain, but <laughs> just don't want to be blown up in my Thorncraft gear is all. These are not the clothes I want to die in. But yeah, I, I have been tearing through levels considering that you have to have... All 30 levels go into an enchant in 1.7, which is not the ideal situation. I have railed against the 1.7 enchantment system. I really like the way things work in 1.8, so it's probably best. This is, that's like redstone level ore, uranium, and I took it out of the ground like it was nothing. I really want to find some diamond with this stuff and give it the ultimate test. See if this thing will give us some diamonds. <laughs> okay, we've actually found some diamonds. Now, I've stumbled across a ton of stuff that I thought was diamonds so far. It's all been this silver stuff. BRAN seems to have added all of the mod packs which have something that looked like it could be diamond ore. Hello, zombies. Are you guarding the diamonds? I don't know. Let's find out. Will this thing give us a diamond if we use it? It will! That's incredible. It's basically the equivalent of an iron pickaxe. I wonder if it would be able to harvest stuff from the nether as well, because the nether has ores that you can't mine, like the Tinker's Construct ores, that you can't mine unless you have, like, a super spiffy alumite pickaxe. But I wonder if my wand excavation focus would actually do that. That's super cool. All right. Well, I think we've learned enough for today about Thorncraft, and I'm ready to give the rest of the focuses a try. The foci, I think that's the proper word for it. Ready to give those a try next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Pixorifs. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and go check out the other guys from Decidedly Neapolitan, because most people on this server are making videos, and they're all fantastic. Links will be in the description. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.